Hey! Thank you for watching my videos. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make shades using the cloth filter tool. You can download this and other project files from my page. On Patreon. Page link in the description of this video. Let's get started. For this tutorial, I recommend that you install add-ins. Edge Flow. Zelopoc. And activate. The look to add-in that comes with the program. Press Shift A. Select the primitive cylinder. Write the number of sides 28. In edit mode select this polygon. Go to the select menu. Select invert and delete polygon. Select this polygon. Press the right mouse button. Select the function of the inset face. Remove the polygon. Select this edge loop. Go to the faces menu. Select the function grid fill. Write the values to make the topology look like this. Select the bottom half of the polygons and delete them. Move the upper half of the polygons up and rotate. Select this edge loop. Press the right mouse button and select the space in the loop to Latin. In the view menu, select left view. Activate the extrude. Move and create the shape we need. Select these polygons. Go to the side view. Press the Shift D, copy the polygons, move them, and rotate. Select the edges. Press the right mouse button and select the bridge edge loops function. Select these loops. Press the right mouse button and select the space in the loop to Latin. Press the right button, select loop cut and slide, and add segments. Select three more loops and activate the set flow function in the edge menu. Continue to add edge loops making the mesh more uniform. Select these edges and select the set flow in the edge menu. Select these polygons. Activate proportional editing. Select the sphere preset. Move in viewport. Select these edges and activate the edge loop in the menu. In the edge menu, activate the set flow and increase the iteration. Select these faces and correct the shape. Add edge loop and activate the set flow in the menu. Select these two vertices. Press the right mouse button. Choose the merge vertex at last. Repeat the process. Add a solidify modifier. Change the names of the objects. Let's make a duplicate of the object with button shift D. We temporarily hide the object named Carcass. Apply the Solidify modifier to the object named Cloth. In Edit Mode, select these polygons. In the menu, select the Link Flat Face function and delete the polygons. Select Edge Loops. Press the right mouse button and select the Edge Bevel function. Let's write two segments. Add Edge Loops. Select these polygons. In the menu, select the Link Flat Face function and write 20 degrees. In the menu, select less. Go to vertex mode. In the menu, select the checker deselect. In the vertex menu, select the connect vertex pairs function. Press the right mouse button and select the bevel vertex. Write two segments. Press the right mouse button and select the function circle. Set individual origins and activate scale. Press the right mouse button and select the function inset faces. Go to sculpting mode. In the face sets menu, select the face set function from edit mode selection. Select the polygon loops and repeat the operation. The red poly group will be needed to create the mask. Add subdivision modifier with one iteration and apply it. In edit mode, select these edges. In the select menu, select the edge ring. Go to the Add-in menu and select a Grow Loop. Right mouse button and select Bevel Edge. Add a subdivision modifier with two iterations and apply. In Sculpting mode, select the Cloth Filter tool. Set the type to Inflate. Activate the checkbox Use Face Sets. Move the cursor over this polygroup and press the key Ctrl Alt W. Press the left mouse button and drag the cursor to the left. Hover over the base mesh and drag to the right. Move the cursor over this polygroup and press the H key. In the mask menu, select the fill mask and press the H key. 
press key A, and select the item Smooth Mask. Increase this polygroup through the key Ctrl W. Change the filter type to Expand. Move the cursor over this polygroup. Press the left mouse button and drag the cursor to the left. Let's strengthen a little the details. Hover the cursor over the main mesh, and drag the cursor to the right. Change the filter type to Inflate. Hover the cursor over the main mesh, and drag the cursor to the right. Smooth Topology. Select the Mesh Filter tool. Choose the type of Sharpen. Hide these polygroups using the key H. Press key W and select the item Invert Visible. In the Mask menu, select Mask Fill. Press key H. Press key A, and select the item Smooth Mask, and then the item Invert Mask. Hover the cursor over the main mesh, and drag the cursor to the right. Press key A, and select the item Invert Mask. Now let's add some interesting details to the fabric. Select the cloth brush. Set the intensity to 0.2. Then we will select Expand and Plane. Start adding details. We also have the ability to manually smooth the details if we hold down the Shift key. You can also smooth the mesh through the Smooth modifier. Now let's select the carcass object and display it in the viewport. Apply the Solidify modifier. Select these polygons. In the menu, select the Link Flat Face. In the Mesh Transforms menu, select the Shrink Flate tool and move the polygons along the normal. Select these polygons. In the menu, select the Link Flat Face. Activate the function of Inset Face, then hold down the key Control. Select these polygons and activate Extrude. Select the edge loops and activate the bevel edge. Add one edge loop. Select these edge loops and select the set flow from the menu. Select these polygons and use the Shrink Flatten tool to correct the shape. Add separate edge loop. At the end, we will model the leg. Select these edges and activate subdivide. Select these edges. Turn the camera, press W key twice and activate slide, and the edges move symmetrically. Select polygons. Activate the inset face. Move them and scale them along the Z-axis. Right mouse button and circle function. Scale polygons. Activate extrude. Select the cut tool and cut in this way. Correct the form. Select polygons. Activate Extrude and Transform. Then again Extrude and Move. Creating a separate edge using an inset faces and loop cut and slide. Activate the subdivision modifier and add two iterations. Congratulations, we are done. Thanks everyone for watching.